Unlike other GSGs that people are familiar with, in Guild of Destiny, players can freely modify the map with a brush without complex manual editing in text files. Hello everyone, I'm Kenneth, one of the co-founders of Aquila Interactive. I'm an indie game developer and grand strategy game aficionado based in Sweden. I wanted to create a grand strategy game that is a better sandbox that allows further customization with a grander map and more details. Gilded Destiny is set at the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, allowing players to live through the intricacies and challenges of the era, which laid the foundations of the modern world. The game's central goal is to transform your chosen country from an agrarian society into an industrial one, where you will lead your population from subsistence to wealth by controlling key economic, diplomatic, and military factors to achieve your goal. Of course, since this is a sandbox game after all, you can do whatever tickles your fancy, no matter how ridiculous. Whether it's attempting to industrialize the Qing Dynasty in the 1800s, or conquering the world with the mighty Empire of Luxembourg, it's all possible. So based on these principles, a few like-minded partners and I set out the defining features for Gilded Destiny. First, although it uses hex tiles that may resemble what you see in games like Civilization or Humankind, the tiles in Guild of Destiny are projected onto a spherical Earth. More importantly, it is a real-time strategy game, not the turn-based one. The map has about 1.6 million tiles, making the terrain more detailed and allowing players more room for customization. We mainly went with the hex tiles because we wanted to make it very easy for anyone to modify or make a map without special knowledge. Furthermore, to make achieving the next defining feature possible. The second defining feature is resource management and building placement. Where you place your structures in your city can have a significant impact and produce complementary effects on surrounding structures. That is, buildings can interact and become more efficient through bonus buffs based on their placement. Unlike your typical GSG today, terrains will play a vital role. For example, the fertility of the tiles will have a sizable impact on where you can grow or graze. Additionally, various terrain types will hinder the speed of your military deployment, thereby requiring additional tactical considerations. Finally, terrains can also play a vital role in your logistics in keeping your economy running, your people fed, and military supply. Players will need to think and plan how to efficiently extract resources and transport them to designated locations for processing and consumption through their logistics network, such as train, ships, and etc. Of course, neither of the defining features mentioned above can be achieved without a deep simulation of the population. Therefore, to highlight the importance of population, we have a mechanism for population migration. Policies and industrialization progress will heavily impact how people migrate from place to place. However, stay tuned for more details on the migration feature of the game. We'll cover this in more depth in the future. While your country is developing rapidly, there can be a series of situations, such as an economic surplus, where you will need to dump products onto foreign markets, or conversely, shortages where you would have to come up with raw materials somehow. In either of those examples, you would need to have contingencies in place. One of those contingencies, though, might be war. The third defining feature of Gilded Destiny relates to war, and specifically your control over the battlefield. During critical moments in a battle, you can control various military units in real time and secure victory through superior tactics. War technologies made devastating and exciting progress through the Industrial Revolution, and it should not be oversimplified into a mere progress bar. The great Prussian general and military theorist Karl von Kaltzwitz once said, War is politics by other means. That is, sometimes unresolvable territorial or economic disputes happen, and war is the only solution. There are many factors that can influence the outcome of a war. In the early stages of the Industrial Revolution, the logistic supply lines provided by rail were the key. As we mentioned earlier, when building cities, Logistics will be a crucial element in the development of your nation, and equally important for war as well. Smooth logistics supply lines and a reliable industrial chain will help you become another empire which the sun never sets. The three points mentioned above, city construction, industrial chain development, and military advancement, all rely on efficient logistics. In this world of 1.6 million tiles, 
creating a physical global logistic mechanism and giving practical significance to railway and sea routes on the map is an important goal for us, setting Gilded Destiny apart from other grand strategy games. Now that we have mentioned key aspects of the game itself, it is important to emphasize another factor that is not part of the game, but was a crucial initial goal for the entire project. Gilded Destiny is meant to be a sandbox game that players can deeply customize as they desire. From opting for hexagons instead of shaped provinces to having a built-in editor, all came from the intentions that players must be able to easily modify and add content and then share it with others through the Steam Workshop. Unlike other GSGs that people are familiar with, in Gilded Destiny, players can freely modify the map with a brush without complex manual editing in text files. Maybe you feel that our map is not detailed enough and you want to make a better one, or perhaps you want to create a fictional world. Both of these goals can be easily achievable. All the settings in the game, such as national province borders, population, and cities, can be modified through our game editor. Okay, that's all I will say in this dev diary. We are aiming to release a close alpha test towards the end of this year. If you are interested, remember to search Gilded Destiny on Steam and add it to your wishlist.